Hey guys, I'm connected Bluetooth to my um, car, so if my voice sounds funny, I'm sorry. This is like the first time I've ever vlogged like from my new car. Uh, but I'm sitting in the parking lot. I'm about to go into my 36 week doctor appointment. I had to think, what, how far along am I? Um, and they are going to check me to see how dilated I am. So quickly, before you see the next clip, write in the comments down below how far dilated you think I am. Anthony thinks zero. I think it's probably gonna be like one. It'd be nice if it'd be like three or four or something, but I know it doesn't really mean that much, but it kind of gives me a little indication of how things are going. I'm also gonna ask some questions about just like hospital policy, visitors, and then um, kind of just like what our plan is, if I can have an induction, how early, and just how to get this baby out of me. So I'm gonna run in do this appointment. I'm not looking forward to it because of how they have to figure out dilation, but I know they do it all the time, so it's not that big of a deal. I just need to get over it. <laughs> so I'm going to go and hopefully I come back with good news, but we'll see. So I will keep you guys updated. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully you can hear me. My appointment was super fast. It was like 10 minutes. So they did all the normal stuff blood pressure, weight, whatever. My blood pressure I think was okay. It was a little higher. It was like 132 over 70 or something, but nothing too concerning. Uh, they did do the group B test. I forgot about that. So I'll get results next week. Hopefully it's negative. I've been negative my first two pregnancies, but I know it's random. Yeah, you either have it or you don't. So she Measured my fundal height and I'm measuring on track. She got baby's heartbeat, which was hard because baby was kicking everywhere. Gosh, she moves so much. And it was like 150, so it's a little higher than what it's been. That's pretty good. She did check me to see if I was dilated at all and she said I'm a fingertip. A fingertip, come on. I was hoping for at least one centimeter. Uh, so she did check, baby is head down. So that's a good thing. That's kind of it. So unfortunately I am not making enough progress. <laughs> I know I'm only, well, I'll be 37 weeks on Wednesday and today's Monday. So I'm almost 37 weeks, like come on. So I asked her like, how soon can I get induced? Like, I just want to be done. And she said the earliest they will do is 39 weeks. And she said doing that, it's like on a waitlist system. And so they basically put you on a wait list and then you don't know until like 9 a.m. that day if you're gonna come in or not. They just call you if they have a room available and a time available. So she was like, so you can do that. It's kind of annoying because you're kind of waiting around all day, not really sure if you're gonna go in or not. And I was like, no, I want it. So I'll definitely be doing that at 39 weeks. And then I asked her, what can I do to get this baby out? <laughs> How can I dilate? And she was like, there's lots of rumors out there. She's like, the only thing that actually has like a little bit of research to it is eating dates, which are so nasty. Uh, I've been trying to. And she said, pumping. So I need to pump. I've been doing nipple stimulation, but I haven't been pumping yet. So I guess I need to start pumping. She said those are really it. I've heard other things, but I don't know. I just wanted to know her opinion. And I also asked about hospital policy. Um, and at least at my hospital, they said you can have two support people during labor and you can have visitors from, I think they said three to eight. And I asked her like how many visitors? She said as many as you want which I was kind of shocked about that. I said, oh, okay, so my kids can come? And then she said, yeah, you can bring your kids. So that was surprising because I thought they were limiting it to visitors, but maybe not. So definitely better than how it was when we had our second child because when we had him, it was September, 2020. So we were still like in the height of the pandemic and we were allowed no one, no visitors, no support people, no nothing. It was just me and Anthony. So my mom has said she wants to be there at the labor. I'm not really sure how I feel about it just because like I'm, I'm a private person and you know birth is very vulnerable so I haven't decided what I want to do about that. Obviously Anthony's gonna be there obviously the kids are not gonna be there. <laughs> so my parents are in town they're on standby I have siblings in town too they can help us with my kids which will be nice. 
So unfortunately, I wish I had better news, but I don't. <laughs> Baby's just cooking. So anyway, uh, I just gotta try to get her out any way I can. So anyway, that's all for my doctor's appointment. I'm gonna head back home. My sister, Allison, is gonna come over. She's a teacher and she's on spring break this week. So fun. So she's gonna come over and play with the kids and me. And I think we're gonna take the kids to the mall. Um, yeah, our mall, our local mall. They have like the, these ride-on um, rides. You can put like quarters in it and then it like moves back and forth for a minute or whatever. You know what I'm talking about. We did that once with him forever ago and he's been talking about it nonstop, wants to go back. So we are going to take uh, the kids there and have a little fun and uh, I think that's it my mom did get me a birthing ball so I need to blow that up and maybe that will encourage baby to drop so gotta try all the things but I will pull out the camera when we get to the mall on the train. Porter won a rubber ducky. Hey guys, so I'm editing this vlog and I realized I never really ended it, so I'm gonna end it here. We took the kids to the mall, as you saw. Porter was terrified to do the ride on rides, as you could see in the clips, they're like just they just moved back and forth. It was not anything intense, but he was terrified, so he didn't ride any of them. Gray rode a bunch of them. Well, he rode like three, and then he was just kind of over it. Like I thought they would be more into it, and they just weren't. So we just did that for a short amount of time, and then they had a little play place in the mall. So we took the boys there, and honestly, I think they had the most fun riding up and down in the elevator and the escalators at the mall than anything else. But it was good to get out of the house and just kind of hang out. And I got a blow up pump from my mom to blow up the exercise ball so I can try to bounce this baby out. Hopefully that will do something. But yeah, that was just kind of it for this vlog. So I just wanted to close it out. And um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.